become a pro in static equipment design, join our in-depth and professional training. To avail the biggest discounts and explore the various courses, click on the link shared in the description just below the video. Register and check out the different courses to become an expert in static equipment design. Now let's say a lifting of uh, vertical equipment or making it from horizontal to vertical. So here we can see for the small vessel there will be one tailing beam or tailing lug. These are the tailing lugs, these are the lifting lugs. This is tailing lug, this is lifting lug. So one tailing lug will be given exactly at the center of these two lifting lugs. You can use either the spreader or single point lifting like this. If there is a spreader, there only uh, a vertical reaction will be coming into the picture. And if there is a single point lifting, then there will be one horizontal component and one vertical component will come into the picture. So now, uh, in shop mostly, uh, even though we are providing the lifting lug, there are some practices those will be followed by the contractor or the shop worker that uh, instead of engaging uh, the lifting lugs in the lifting uh, process, they are uh, usually take the uh, help of this nozzle. Actually, these nozzles are not designed for lifting purpose, right? So if you have the belt over here, there are chances that this nozzle can bend, right? And if this nozzle will be bent, then what will happen? The counter piping which will be coming that will not match exactly with this and there are chances of leakage. So never ever use these uh, nozzles for the lifting purpose. Also there are chances that people are also using the legs for the lifting purpose. Again the legs are not designed for lifting purpose, right? So if we are going to use that for the lifting purpose, there are chances that this may also slightly bend and because of that this equipment will not be 100% exactly vertically mounted and none of the nozzle flanges will match with the counter flanges so there will be some problems while doing the assembly of this and because of this there are chances of leakages between the flange joints between the nozzles and the mating flange so that's the reason why never use these nozzles or the uh, uh, legs for the lifting purpose as you have to design it properly, the lifting arrangement, either the tonian lifting lugs or some another arrangement, what will be used. So that arrangement only have to be used at the time of lifting the equipment. And do not use any nozzles or the uh, pipe legs. 